Archie, or should I say King Crew? Hello. What do you want me to say? Uh, Archie. Archie. Archie will be cool. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, before we go into the new album, or your first album, um, maybe um, you can tell me what the first album is you bought. The first album I ever bought. Yeah. Um, one of the first albums I ever listened to was Doolittle by the Pixies. Uh, I didn't buy it myself, no. no. Why did you listen to this album? Um, my dad put me onto it, and yeah, it was really a really good album. Yeah, I was really into it. Are there certain songs that you still like? Yeah, definitely. It's the Maybe. whole album, I love the whole yeah. album. Yeah. I think Wave of Mutilation and... Uh, uh, um, I don't know. This Monkey's Gone to Heaven is quite a nice track, lyrically. It's really good. You know? And what, 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 makes, what makes them such a good band for you? Uh, everything, man. I like the drama. I like the guitarist, I like his, the way he plays, I like Frank Black's vocals, and I like the like quiet to it bass line by uh, Kim Deal, and yeah, no, I'm really into that stuff, man, yeah. And the first album that you bought yourself? Um, I'm trying to think, man, I really can't remember, man. I think it was on cassette, could have been, uh, I don't. Know, I can't remember, man. Can't but what uh, you were, you were into the Pixies? Uh, are there other other music, other bands or artists that you were into when you were young? Um, a lot of stuff, man. Uh, a lot of hip hop and uh, a lot of grunge as well, and also a lot of you know, a lot of funky stuff. Uh, Fella Kuti. Stuff like that. And what did influence you to to well to pick up a guitar yourself? Um, my uncle playing. My uncle used to play, and my dad used to play, and so did my mum. Used to play bass, and just being around that was really uh, really inspiring. You know, influential. I just it was natural. You know, I wanted yeah. to pick up a guitar. I just wanted to play it, I wanted to make sound somehow. Yeah. Now, how old were you? One, two, three? Uh, I was eight. I was eight. Eight okay. years old, yeah. Okay. Um, were your mom and dad also in songwriting? Did they, did they write their own songs? Um, yeah, yeah. My dad did, yeah, so did my mum. My mum was writing poetry, kind of dub jazzy kind of quite abstract poetry and she was recording at the time when I first started playing guitar and uh, my dad's always been writing songs and uh, only till recently have I ever really taken my time and really listened to some of the lyrics behind them. Yeah. And they're interesting, man. Okay. Do they also put out music? Uh, no, it's leisure, you know. It's always going to be part of them, you know. So they're constantly doing it, but whether they'll ever put anything out, I don't yeah. know. What do, you, what do they think of your music? Do they help you? Or? Uh, yeah, man, they like it, they're down, they're all down with it. Yeah. That sounds good. Um, no, you said you, you picked up the guitar when you were eight. Um, when did you actually, what, what, what was the first things that you learned to play? Um, probably like, uh, I don't know, Ramble On by Led Zeppelin. And uh, a couple White Stripes numbers, a couple Foo Fighter numbers. Just quite a lot of rock guitar. 
And then, I don't know, I also got into, like, my uncle's style of playing, which is quite scar and quite uh, bohemian and quite django -y, you know. It was interesting. It's good to be around. Okay. Um, and when did you start writing your own songs? Do you still recall? When did I start? Uh, probably when I was about... When I was eight, I recorded a song. It was shit, though. It, it was pretty... Pretty song. What do you write about? Uh, I wrote about, like, a, it was a pretty dark subject. Like, about a school dinner lady uh, getting lost in a, like, losing her, basically, in a barn. And then finding her, coming across her. Yeah, somewhere. It's a, yeah. a big subject for an eight year old. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was a dark kid, man. Okay. Yeah. So, maybe not. Yeah. Okay, here we are again. Um, what did you. No, you were eight years old, so you so you wrote your own, own uh, your your first song. Um, when did you think? Well, now this music is getting me somewhere uh, in songwriting wise. When did I think that? That was quite a. That was, um, probably when I was about. I, I just kept doing it, you know. It was always something I wanted to do. I always wanted to make music. Yeah. And so I just kept doing it, and I guess. I, I never, no one's ever really, I don't know, it's never really, hasn't hit me yet, still, I'd say. I'm still young, and I still think I'm developing my style, and I'm going to constantly develop it, you know, so... It was nice to get, obviously, a lot of uh, gratification from uh, people listening to it, and so that's just inspired me to make more. So I guess it was, I guess when my music started reaching people was 2010. But I've always been making music, so I'm gonna... but, but have you always been playing live too? Yeah, I've been playing live since the uh, age of 11. Yeah, and I kept, uh, I was doing gigs pretty much every weekend since then up until the age of 16 when things started sort of happening without getting ribs and stuff so must be really well when you when you're so young and then oh playing your songs on the stage um weren't you um well um a, a little bit scared or maybe yeah definitely i think like it's one of it was weird it was i was a really shy person and uh but, you know what, it came naturally, man. It was just like a really good outlet, you know? You could shout into a mic at a bunch of people who didn't know you. You know, it was really something quite... It empowered me at the time, so I really liked it. And so I kept doing it, yeah. And I think it was the best sort of method of developing songs as well, because i try out a new song live. Before I had, like, recording equipment and stuff and see sort of how people gauged it and I think it was one of the best sort of methods of developing because you put yourself on a line sort of thing. No one really takes you seriously because they're all like, I was playing in a lot of pubs so they're all like probably about the age of, I don't know, 30 to 40 year olds sort of up to 50 like just sitting sparsely around and then you'd be going up there sort of disrupting their evening because you'd be playing like this live set during whilst they're just trying to like drink, you know, and like so you know, I had to I had to put on a front and I had to just like stare them all down and that really like made me more brave sort of thing. Yeah. Developed me nicely. And do you know when you when you write a song now if it's going to work live? Uh, or do you still have to test it? I still test it, and as well, I've got a band sort of thing now. It's, I always want to get the dynamic right there as well, so... 
Um, what do you have with animals? Animals. Yeah. Yeah, I love animals, man. They're the shit. Yeah. yeah. Animals are gonna rule the world, really. One day. Yeah. No, because well, it's 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 a, a bad joke, I know. Because you 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 took on the name Zookit. Yeah. And now you have King Crew. Um, what? Why? Why did you well pick Zoo Kid and King Crew? I wanted your own name. Um, because I, I I think you have a nice stage name too, Archie Marshall. But yeah, I mean, um, I like yeah. I don't know. I personally, I was just I just always wanted a sort of I wanted it to be an escape, you know. I want it to be like a change of alias, a change of, you know, you've got this thing on. You know. It's like superhero shit, whatever, like, yeah. Getting into your costume. I always, and I like, you know, I can't be Archie Marshall and like, I don't know, have the same aesthetic as King Cruel, you know. King Cruel's dark and it has like a lot of dark elements. The artwork goes nicely with it and that is sort of that, you know what I mean? And, I'm me, and so it's good to be me on the side of doing all these things, so yeah. And then, why did you change from Zoo, Git, Zoo Kit to King Crew? Uh, because, you know, um, I didn't want to be a, didn't want to be a um, kid all my life. Yeah, I just didn't, didn't want to be t referred to as a kid. And felt maybe by the age of like 25, it would be very, very wearing out. <laughs> you know, I don't know. So, but, 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 but you do want to be a king your whole life. Uh, king Crew ain't me, man. King Crew ain't me, and it's it's like the king crawls through the city. So it's like it's just the name of it, you know.